Hello Internet, welcome to Calculator Usage Learning Tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to focus on Casio FX100W. And this is quite an old calculator and uh, in terms of the number of function that it has, it is far uh, inferior than FX991ES and EX. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to be focusing on conversion of polar form into rectangular form. Uh, now there are a few things that we need to take care of. Firstly, uh, we do not need to go to uh, complex in order to perform polar and rectangular conversions. So we will stay in the normal computational mode. And I have two problems in hand will convert rectangular 2 plus 3i into polar. So for that, uh, how do you enter that? For example, we want to convert this rectangular into polar. So what you need to do is you need to press shift and then polar. And then how do you enter 2 plus 3i? It is entered as 2 comma 3. And then you need to close the brackets. And um, the values for polar are in the form of R angle theta so R and theta are going to be stored in the variables E and F and you can see them using the button RCL so that's how you do this uh, you want to convert 2 plus 3i into polar so that's how you enter it and then you press equal so 3.60 is the R and then if you press RCL and F 0.98 is the angle in radians so the conversion rectangular 2 plus 3i which is polar 3.60 angle 0.98 is seen like this and if you want to go back to R you can press RCL E which is 3.6 and you can switch back and forth so this is one thing and the next part is if you want to convert polar 20 angle 50 into rectangular which will be 19.29 angle minus 5.24 how can you do, do that you press shift then rectangular then 20 comma now you specify the angle which is 50 close the brackets press equal now this is the result stored in E which is the real part which is 19.29 and if you want to see the imaginary part you can press RCL and then press F which is minus 5.24 so that is how you can convert coordinate systems from rectangular to polar and vice versa in this calculator it's not that easy I know but uh, this certainly uh, solves the uh, purpose and uh, I hope this quick tutorial was helpful and if you want me to make more tutorials on this particular uh, calculator you can um, ask questions and leave uh, your suggestions in the comment section and thank you so much for watching the video you have a very very good day and a good life bye bye